Good morning, happy Saturday, welcome to Sav Mode, or happy whatever day it is that you are watching this. Today I decided I wanted to do a gym vlog and just take you through the whole process, the get ready with me, going there. We got it all, so we are going to do a full vlog of a gym day with me. I switched to a natural deodorant, which has been great, so we're gonna put some of that on now because we're gonna go. I'm going to make a quick meal, get some coffee. I haven't even had coffee yet. Yeah, get the bag together and then we'll go. So we're just gonna do a whole day at the gym together, you and me. I usually buy the Coffee Mate creamer in French vanilla, but I wanted to switch it up and get pumpkin to be a little festive. And I tried the natural one. Honestly, I don't like it as much. It's definitely better ingredients, but I don't think it just doesn't taste as good. If you know me, you know, I absolutely love pigs. They are my favorite animal. So since I'm wearing pink today and I want my mug to match my outfit, we broke out the pig mug, which just means it's gonna be a good day. So for breakfast, I'm going to make toast, some Ezekiel bread with peanut butter and blueberries. Sometimes before I go to the gym, I like to make eggs. I take the time to do that, get some protein in, but I kind of want to just get there. I'm feeling motivated. I feel like I have a lot to do today. So I just want a quick breakfast. This bread is a great alternative if you're looking for something different than white bread or other breads. I don't know what kind of bread you like, but if you're looking for a little bit of a healthier option, this is the Ezekiel bread. So it's sprouted grain bread. I really like this bread. Let me make it flat. It's kept in the freezer, which is also great because when I was at school, my bread would always go bad and I wouldn't go to the store, so I'd have to keep it in the freezer. But this bread is already kept in the freezer, so you just don't ever have to worry about it going bad. For peanut butter. Huh? Where is the peanut butter? This is great. This is really great. I found the peanut butter, but I have to open a new one. The peanut butter that I use is a natural peanut butter, so when you open a new one, you have to stir it. But this is great because I can show you how I churn my peanut butter. Smucker's natural creamy peanut butter. I do like it in crunchy. I've, I've tried the crunchy. I was never, I don't know. I felt like I was never a crunchy gal without trying it and I tried it and really liked it. So uh, this is the creamy though. When you open the peanut butter, it's gonna have this oil on top. So you wanna stir that in with a knife. But once you stir it, it's good. It's a one-time kind of stir deal. She's good. Much better. It's time to fill up the water bottle. Got my one gallon bottle here. Got the pink vibes today. Okay, so we just got to the gym. I'm getting ready to go inside. To start, I warmed up on the treadmill for 10 minutes on a 10% incline and about a 3.3 speed, just to make sure my body was warm and ready before I started lifting. I did a dumbbell only shoulder workout. So to start, I did front shoulder raises. You wanna hold on to the weight and then raise your arms, keeping them straight in front of you, slight bend in your elbows to about chin height. I did eight for my first set and then I did 10 for the rest of them because I used a lighter weight than the first time around. Moving into lateral shoulder raises. This time around, instead of bringing the weight straight in front of you, you're going to bring it to the side of you. So I did the exact same thing where I did eight with the heavier weight the first time around and then 10 the rest of the sets. Good. 
Next, we have bent arm lateral shoulder raises. It is very similar, only this time you are bending so your elbows are in a 90 degree angle. I did 10 reps of this exercise as well. Your shoulders will be on fire by this point. Our last shoulder exercise is an Arnold press. So you're gonna start with your palms facing in, holding the weights in front of you, and then you're going to rotate and turn out your wrists as you press the weight up above your head. I did 10 reps of this as well. And to finish out with a burnout, I kept my left arm still in place and then did five presses on the right side and then kept my right arm in place and did five presses on the left. Next, we are moving into my core circuit. This is the core circuit that I do almost every single time and I repeat it three times. It is 10 regular crunches with your feet on the ground. Then I move into 10, the exact same crunch, only your feet are up in the air, your knees are bent at a 90 degree angle, and you're wanting to make sure that you're still activating the lower part of your abdominal when you're lifting your legs. Next, I do oblique crunches. So I do 10 on the right and then 10 on the left making sure to bring your elbow even thinking your armpit to your opposite knee as you're coming up and then bringing it back down and then repeating the same thing on the other side where you're bringing your armpit and your elbow to the opposite knee to hit your obliques making sure to breathe as you press up really making sure to engage your core and squeeze it then i go into 10 toe touches so i bring my legs straight up in the air and i'm reaching for my toes keeping my arms straight working the top half of my abs reaching for my toes and then i move into 10 leg lifts so this is going to work your lower abs i like to raise my chest but you can keep your chest down on the floor but I find it to be a little more of a burn when I do keep my chest lifted. So making sure to take my time with this and to not swing my legs, to make every move with intention and with purpose, bringing the legs up and down. Last but not least, I do a plank, usually holding it for a minute or however long feels comfortable for you. If you're starting out, you can do 30 seconds or 45 seconds. You can challenge yourself and do a minute or if you feel comfortable pushing past a minute. And then I repeat this whole thing two more times. It's sauna time. We are in the sauna. This is my favorite part. After the workout is lying down in the sauna, I find it so peaceful in here. It is so warm and toasty, so it's just a great way to relax and decompress after a workout. All right, we just finished up. Gotta drink some water. I'm so thirsty. Ugh, gotta replenish. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. Today is literally beautiful out. The sun is shining. There is good energy in the air. It is a great day. It was a great workout. So time to go home and see what's next on the to-do list.